In the 1970s, two men met in a theatre for auditions. They played together, wrote together, and eventually created music together. Then came 1977, when Jim Steinman and Marvin Leoday released their debut album, Bat Out of Hell. Not only did it top the charts, but it stayed in the top 100 for 522 weeks. Over the years, Meatloaf's career has grew and grew, until he eventually retired. But there was something that no one could have predicted. This is Ryan Force. He believes that he is the reincarnation of the famous singer. After several psyche and mental health tests, he has proven to doctors worldwide that he is in earnest with his claims. We got to spend a week with Ryan to observe his condition and show the world if he's lost his mind or is in fact the reincarnation of the still alive rock singer. thing I remember in my past life was being on stage in front of my roaring fans. All of a sudden I must have hit my head or so and next time I, I, I woke up I, I, I was me. Have you heard anything from the real Meatloaf? He is still alive. Well I can assure you Nick that I am the real Meatloaf. I worked with Jim Steinman in the 70s, 80s, 90s and even on our, our latest album. I can assure you that the spirit of the loaf is within me. If you are indeed the real meatloaf, what are your plans for the future? Well, I've been thinking long and hard about that, Nick, and uh, in the 80s uh, I made some regrettable decisions, and um, it uh, came down to a factor of, uh, well, Jim Steinman wrote a bunch of really great songs, and uh, well, he gave them to other people because I was uh, busy, and oh, I mean, I I could have covered them at any point, but uh, and made the superior versions. But I believe the time is now. Well, what songs are you going to cover? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? I uh, I found a song that was right for my mighty lungs that Steinman wrote. I'm gonna cover Total Eclipse of the Heart. Bonnie Tyler can suck! Ryan knows he can't just go straight to covering the song, so he's spending his days writing new music. What's the song you're writing there? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, writing my, my latest song. It's uh, a, a little bit like uh, one I did before, where life is a lemon and I want my money back. It's called, uh, it's called Life is a Bean, and I thank it. Ryan spends his day at Norwich University, where he studies musical engineering, but thanks to the Heineken virus pandemic, he's forced to stay inside his dormitories. I'm angry. I'm However, through a chance encounter, he was invited to a fellow student's dorm party. This place looks like my flat. Steve! You never told me this was a fancy dress party. What do you mean? Well, you got paint on your face. <laughs> hey, come on, let's party! <laughs> Is 
Did you know uh, Bat Out of Hell was about a motorcycle crash? What? Bat Out of Hell. What's that? It's a song I did. Oh. Huh. Any good? The public thought so. Hmm. Oh, the Grand Prix guest has arrived! Hey guys, where's the sacrifice? I don't have to be a cult! Later, Ryan agreed to do another interview. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth, Nick. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been testing my voice using crucial vocal exercises and uh, after some time I believe I'm ready to go back into the studio. To record uh, Life is a Beat? No, I've, uh, I've decided that if I'm gonna go at all I need to go big and I'm gonna go straight to my cover of Total Eclipse. Hopefully this will be my uh, my big break back into the music industry. After the week's events, Ryan has started production on the song, hoping it will skyrocket him into the familiar world of success. He's even started filming his comeback music video, but alas, trouble arises on the set. Make your judgement as you will, but please remember that there are more people out there like this, and we need to put a stop to it.